Uh, challenge a few people. Ooh, Elysium, 2647. Hmm. 2647 is higher than 2293. Uh, if he goes E5, am I really going to go F4? Well, for you. fortunately he doesn't force me to play it. So, the modern. Well, I'm quite a fan of White's positions in these uh, variations. Uh, this is a perk modern hybrid because uh, of the early knight f6. Uh, I don't know this early c5 variation. But I'm going to pretend that I, need, I do know it and play this early h4. Because the main theme of hack attack, if there is one, and I like to think there's one or two, is to just push this h-pawn uh, as often as you can, as aggressively as you can, and not really worry too much about the consequences. Because, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Well, you know, you lose a game. Boo-hoo. Let's play this king move. Now I've got some tricks with knight d5. This almost looks like some kind of theory. What happens if I... So if knight d5 now, queen takes d2, knight takes e 7 king f8. Hmm. Do I go a3? Is rook takes c3 a threat? Rook takes... Queen takes, queen takes c2, king there, bishop check. Okay, let's go e3. And now b5, I've just got knight takes b5. Uh, I definitely need to find time to play g4 and uh, h5, but my opponent has blocked that off by playing h5 himself. g4, pawn takes h5, pawn takes, pawn takes, doesn't really work. Maybe bishop e2 here. I really want to play this g4 move. Just waiting for the right moment. Uh, is he going to go a6 or b8 to prepare b5? This is, this is basically a proper game. Well, I've got knight t5, queen takes d2, knight takes f6. Uh, that's not really great. Ah, uh, let's just go for it. g4 takes, h5 takes, pawn takes. Does this work? Maybe I should just play this and take back. That makes more sense. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. Takes, takes, rook takes c3, bishop takes c3. Yeah, that's okay. I guess maybe he's going to go b5 anyway and ignore this. But then g5 is playable, or g takes h5. I can have a think. b5. Okay, he has played b5. Pawn takes or g5? I think pawn takes is the way to do it. And now I'd like to follow up with a quick f4. Let's take that off. And then f4 maybe, or rook g1? It's important that I can meet b4 with queen d4 check, and then queen takes b4. If I find time to play f4, then uh, then maybe I'm better. This is like th this is one of the closest to a proper game that uh, that you'll see on Hack Attack. My opponent Saxon exchange positionally, uh, and this actually reminds me very strongly of uh, Kasparov Short from their 1993 match. Um, yeah. don't know what to say. Uh, going to offer a draw. I don't really know how to make any progress in this position. Uh, I've got the extra exchange, but such a terrible pawn structure. Uh, I am down on the clock, which is a bit annoying. Uh, trying to get out of all of these tricks. He is taking this really seriously, you can tell. Just how he's using his time really intelligently. Uh, but I've undoubled my pawns. If I can somehow survive here, can I aggressively bring my king up the board? Uh, I'd like to swap rooks if I can. I want to bring this rook over to swap the rooks off. And then go after this pawn. Maybe I can go after the pawn first. Ooh, that'd be nice.
so just bring the ruck across. I think he's got to swap that off. And this is looking better and better. Bishop back to c8, bishop c4. That pawn on a6 is not long for this world. And with 40 seconds left on the clock, this may be a big win against the rating favourite. Uh, okay, I need to push the a-pawn. That's a plan. Uh, bishop back to defend. And I need to carry on pushing that a-pawn. Uh, okay, I don't care about that pawn. It's not important. Get that bishop away. I want to carry on pushing the pawn. 25 seconds left. This is going to cost him a lot of rating points. Sorry about that, Elysium. But uh, I think I've got this one. You cannot now stop this. Pawn from uh, reaching the de its destination. Well, you know, he's going to carry on fighting despite being a whole queen down here. But... Uh, not certain how he expects to come back. I guess he knows that he's playing me and that uh, anything is possible, but a few pre-moves should be, should be good enough here. And I do manage to get the win. Well, that was a really interesting game. Well, probably one of the higher standard games that we've had on Hack Attack, and shockingly I managed to win it. That was really interesting. I mean, I'll offer him a rematch, but... But, um... Yeah, should have taken a draw, says Brain Dead one in the chat. Uh, I'm getting compliments now. Quite a well-played ending, says Count Celia. GG. GG indeed. And my opponent does not seem to uh, want to play a rematch. Oh, uh, and the commentator's curse, as my opponent says. Mm, actually, I do want a rematch after that. I am not going down in that uh, respect. Okay, French. French time. Uh, okay, let's have another a6 tower. Let's see if we can get something more aggressive than we had earlier on. c3. Oh, this isn't what I wanted. But okay, let's take back with the queen. And then... Take on d4, maybe. I think he's going to play bishop c4. Oh, okay. He decides not to. I don't really understand his choice. Oh, you... You can't swap the queens off like this. I mean, if you take on c6, it's a bad move. Don't don't take on c6. Okay, fine. I don't like allowing my opponents to swap queens, but if it's gonna... If he's gonna do it... If he's like 2650, and uh, swapping queens is just bad, then I am gonna give him repeated opportunities to do it. Because, uh... He'll just be giving me a very, very comfortable ending. Okay, so yeah, the queens have been kept on the board. This is good news. Even though it's bad news because, you know, I might now be slightly worse. Uh, I hope you get all that. It makes some kind of sense. Uh, some kind of warped sense, anyway. Okay, on with the game. Now, I'm fine so long as I'm not getting mated. Can I play f5 and e5? Mm, probably not. Let's go f5 and e5. Uh, because yeah, I want to be aggressive. The main thing is making sure that nothing nasty happens to me on this diagonal. Well, I can't go e5 yet. I can play g6, but then he'll play rook e1. Hmm, maybe I need to move this knight. I really want to go e5, but it loses. Okay, g6, and then bishop f6 to control this square. I guess you can play c4, and then I'll move the knight somewhere. Uh, okay. Uh, that, that bishop on h6 makes me very nervous. If the g-line were to open up, then bad things would happen. I'm not going to go e5 yet. Because, you know, looks like nasty things would happen. So I'll tuck my king away. Bide my time. Offer a little queen exchange here. I want to go e5. Just waiting for a safe moment to do so. And that's going to be now. 
I'm going to call this as a safe moment. And fingers crossed it doesn't horribly backfire. I've also got to move pretty quickly. Because uh, starting to fall behind on the clock. And against a guy that can move as quickly as Elysium can, that would be a bad idea. Can I not go F4 here? F4 takes, takes. Bishop moves back, takes. That's not convincing. Let's play knight c4. Keep the threat of f4 in the background. Yeah, that's what I want to do. e4. Yeah, I'm definitely better again. I seem to have managed to finally raise my game towards the end of this broadcast. Just in time for me to switch over to some uh, bullet chess in a little bit. He's going to go knight e3 and I'm going to go knight e5. I don't want to swap those knights off. Because I've got a juicy d3 square that I am interested in jumping into. So long as it doesn't lose all of my material. Uh, okay, bishop there. Bishop takes, pawn takes, knight d4, queen moves somewhere, then knight into d3. Uh, oh, knight goes there. That direction. Okay, that's a bit more annoying. Uh, queen here anyway. Still want to jump in, maybe a5 first, knight d5, bishop back. Okay. I think this is okay. Getting ready to jump in with the knight. Uh, knight b6, maybe rook d8 is okay. Oh, uh, no, not, uh, not rook d8. Hmm. Hey, that's an interesting move. Takes. Knight d3. Am I not winning material? I think I'm winning material. Takes. Uh, grab the pawn. You can have the exchange back if you want. Let's fall back to my favourite plan of push a pawn. And carry on pushing a pawn. Ooh, I'm up on the clock. Fantastic. And push a pawn. And push a pawn. Well, I like this plan. And our queen b1 is a threat. c6, queen b1. Bishop d2, queen takes, bishop takes, a1, resigns. Uh, okay, queen d3. That's also good. And getting ready to push the pawn. And push a pawn. And take the rook. And bishop d4. Takes. Take the pawn. Check. Rook here. Rook e4. I'm not going to mess this one up. And takes. And check. And take the pawn. And bring the king. And bring the king. And bring the king. And bring the pawn. And mate. And 2-0. And that is how we do it.